Hi, uh, this is an instructional for uh, Polaroid pack film basic LAN cameras. Uh, mainly like the square shooters, the big swingers. Uh, all of them are basically the same with little indiscrepancies. Um, they're all identified by, you know, single lens, stock uh, front up here, and they are fully plastic all the way. Now, uh, the other thing about them is that they usually all have uh, a little handle right here and a little, uh, a little spot for their cold clip to hang into. And uh, uh, I'll tell you about the cold clips in a minute. So to start with, the basics of, the, uh, of the, this style Polaroid is that uh, nowadays, the film being made is uh, Fuji FP100C, which is color film, or uh, if you want, it's harder to find, but you can find uh, a Fuji FP3000B, which is a black and white. The 100C is moreover meant for, uh, for a more uh, outdoors experience, however, if you have flash, it can be good indoors too. Uh, now to show you how it works, first thing you do when you're working on one of these is you want to take this clip that I was just taking off, you take it off, the back flips open. Uh, from there, we take our film, which, uh, give me a second, I need to, need to find my film. Where did I just put my film? Uh, alright, I just had it a second ago. Sorry about this. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. Well, well, that's a bummer. I can't seem to find my film. Uh, in any case, I guess I'll just use. Uh, I've got a I've got an old case that the film would be housed in. And uh, so for this case, if you see, it's got those grooves right there, and it's got this part right here, and this black part is uh, where the film should be facing towards the lens inside. Now the reason for that is because when the shutter opens for the lens, uh, this is where the film's going to be facing and where it's going to expose the film to whatever you're shooting. Now to put it in, you want to have the back side but you want to have this side facing. You want to put it in just like this with uh, this little groove out here. And, uh, and basically you just kind of push in diagonally and then push this way. And uh, then it's in there. Now the next thing you would want to do is uh, over here, and I find this the easiest way to, to do it because on the old film you're going to have like a a little tab that you're gonna have to push through the rollers um, and I think I think I have just one thing of film so I can show you what I mean um, just give me give me another second uh, and I just had that too uh, Well, this is such a bummer. I can't seem to see where... Oh, there we go. Alright, so you're going to have uh, film like this that's inside here, uh, if you can see that well. And before this comes out of here, basically you're going to want to take your first tab, and usually they're numbered, um, and you're going to want to put it into the roller. Uh, so I'm going to put it in like that, there we go, usually only about that much is showing, and then in order to put it back in, you want to make sure that tab's coming out of this hole right here, so tab's coming out of the hole, and then uh, on the side, you just kind of push this diagonally and pull it out. Now, to put it back out, 
I don't think I told you how to take this out, but basically you want to take both sides, squeeze, and pull out. So I take these metal bars, and I'm going to take this out for a second. Take the metal bars and pull, and they come straight out. So now let me put that tab back in, and uh, you don't have to do this for every piece of film, just the first one, because afterwards the subsequent tabs uh, pull out after the last piece of film was put in. So there we go, and all right. Then I'm gonna put that through right here, and we're good. So uh, this is not the greatest example because my film, let me actually, I'll put the film right where it should be in the pack. Uh, so let's see. All right. So I've got the uh, I've got the film in the pack now. Uh, there shouldn't be that much sticking out. That's just because I'm using a used piece of film to show you. And uh, when you're done taking your picture, you would take the film out. Ah, okay. So you take the film out, and uh, and that tab would pull both out. Uh, Let me show you exactly how it would pull it out. So it pulled out like this. It would show this tab, and it would pull the chemical rollers through. Well, the rollers would pull the chemicals through the film, and then you would have uh, then you would have this one giant sheet coming out. It wouldn't be in sections like this. Like I said, this is just old film that's already been used and all that jazz. In any case. So, the black part is still there because uh, after it's pulled out, the, uh, um, the film still needs a few minutes where the light isn't hitting it as harshly to fully develop. The chemicals that fully develop the film aren't actually pulled through and spread onto the whole film until the film is pulled through the rollers right here. Now it's usually a couple of minutes, few minutes, uh, sometimes it can be up to 10 depending on lighting environment. But once once you're done uh, with the development time, you simply pull this apart and you've got your one uh, Polaroid. Now after that, the uh, next thing to show you about these guys is that all of them uh, similarly work pretty much the same way. Uh, they, the shutter button's almost always right here. Uh, usually you have some sort of a, uh, um, a lens adjustment right here for focus, uh, or brightness or darkness. For this it's brightness and darkness. If you see right here, you've got your dark side, your bright side, and then you've got uh, numbers stating how bright things are. For instance, bright has that uh, ultra sunny thing on it. Uh, you also happen to have a brightness to darkness right here, and uh, and that's more for, uh, it has uh, somewhat of an electric eye that the bellows line cameras have, but uh, it's a little bit different. Now, the last thing to say is that, uh, well, there's two last things to say. So one, um, on some of these, this part is a little bit different, so this is always the trigger, uh, but on some of them, you can actually squeeze, for instance, the big swinger, you can squeeze on that, and there will be a second, uh, uh, this, will, this viewfinder will be split in two, and one half will have a red tint to it. And when you squeeze, 
there's an electronic part of it on the big swinger that uh, will show you a pixelated yes which comes more into focus uh, the more that you adjust the um, the exposure by moving left and right and when it's fully yes then you're good then your exposure is supposed to be uh, optimal according to the camera second one is uh, some of them like this have a lock so you can't by accidentally uh, shoot and then uh, some of them a lot of them actually have a flash attachment right here for flash cubes and you can just put a flash cube in right there and uh, in order to use the flash cubes you will have to uh, have batteries in. Now fortunately for these cameras uh, they almost all use AA batteries, two AA's and all you have to do is I hope you can see that right, yeah you can uh, you push down right here there's a there's always a tab right here and you push down and then you take this this tab and you pull it out now let me get the lighting right so you can see but when you pull it out there's uh, there's two spots for double A's and you almost always put the negative end basically push it through these two things uh, these two battery holders so that the positive end is facing you. Now after that, you put it back up the same opposite way you put it in. And then when you shoot, um, when you shoot, your flash, if it's in there, will go off. So, let's see. There we go. Now, obviously this one's a little touchy on its magic cube, but that happens on some of the older ones. So, in any case, uh, the last thing to point out is that the cold clips are actually for the film when it's uh, really cold outside, because they have to have uh, they have to have a warm environment to ex uh, to develop right. The chemicals in combination with the film. Uh, need to be somewhat warm. So the cold clip was developed so that you could take your film and uh, there's my film. So you take your film uh, but you keep it in the uh, uh, let me get that. After it came out you would keep it in like with your uh, black piece. And you put the cold clip in between or sorry the film in between the cold clips. Now the cold clips you would then stick in like your pants or something because the idea was was that uh, the metal would not only hold it flat, the film, but it would also, uh, uh, this metal is, uh, um, absorbs temperature well. <coughs> Sorry. So you would put it in like your pants pocket or something for a few minutes and your body temperature the uh, the metal would absorb and that would keep the film warm and then after a few minutes you take it out the normal way and pull out your film and you, voila you'd be good uh, but yeah generally there is always a spot for the cold clips back here so anyway uh, that's it thanks for uh, thanks for listening <laughs>